here at Physician Assistant Day at Montclair High School. I am Jackie Javier from the Inland Health Professions Coalition, and I'm here with Teray from Los Osos High School. How are you doing, Teray? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions about today. What were your thoughts about today's event? Um, it really was like revolutionary for me because personally, I didn't really know what I wanted to do going into college. Um, I had an idea. I know I wanted to be in the medical field, but today really outlined it for me. Like I have a clear cut plan of what I'm going to do for the next six years, and there's no greater feeling than knowing what you're going to do. So you know you're not going to waste your time in college. And uh, I couldn't be more grateful, honestly, for this experience. Like this is something I think everyone should go to, even if you're not trying to go to the medical field, just because it can help you try and figure out what you're going to do. And to hear from the students and their experiences and see how not all of them started off, you know, straight A students, but got to where they still need to be was very inspirational. Awesome. That's great. Thank you for sharing. Um, also, another question is, uh, do you think that PA day influenced your career choice in the medical field? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely becoming a PA. Like, yeah. no questions asked. I know what I'm going to do now. Awesome. What did you initially want to be? Yeah, a neurosurgeon. A neurosurgeon. Now you want to be a yeah. PA. Awesome. Um, the problem I have with neurosurgeon is that it's like eight years after college and I, I thought that was going to be a really long time but I thought I could still do it and then talking to them and seeing how it's just two years after college and you're in your profession you're doing what you love and you're making money and you can do a neurosurgeon PA where you're just in there with a neurosurgeon helping them out I thought that was perfect I could still do what I love and do it quicker so thank you Teray for sharing your thoughts and this was physician assistant day Hi, so we are today here at Montclair High School for Physician Assistant Day. My name is Jackie Javier and I'm from the Inland Health Professions Coalition. I'm right here with Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Hi. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions about today. Um, what, ha what has been your experience? I thought it was very awesome. It was like really eye-opening, definitely, and I'd love to do something like this again. Awesome. Did you have a favorite like breakout session, something that you learned today that really stood out to you? Learning how to like interact with other patients and learning like what they act what a PA actually does in like, the office. You want to get in. Awesome. So attending today, physician assistant day, has has it influenced your career choice in the medical field? Yeah, definitely. Like I think I was thinking more of a physical therapist or a doctor and then learning like how much more time management you have with being a PA. <laughs> awesome. Great. So if we had future events like this one, would you be interested in attending? Do you think it's, you know, meaningful? Is it making an impact on you? Yeah, most definitely. Like this is really great. <laughs> Perfect. Here we are with Jay, Leanne, and Danielle, who are physician assistant students at Western University of Health Sciences. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, what were your thoughts about today's experience? Oh, it was a good experience. Uh, I didn't have anything like this back in high school, so it was very nice to see the students actually involved and actually wanted to come and participate and learn about the profession. And even if it's not the PA profession itself, like just seeing them so driven is really something really nice to see. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, when I was in high school, I really wasn't driven as far as academia goes. So. Um, that came for me later on, and thankfully I, I, I'm here, so yeah. that's good. But it, I think that this was such a great um, experience for the kids, and I really um, was pleasantly surprised at how involved they were. They were really, um, yeah. you know, volunteering to help, like, participate and everything. So awesome. it was really neat. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I feel exactly like them. I think that it went very well. Um, they seem genuinely interested and we would often throw questions at them and they kept answering and really willing to try everything that we're proposing and like Jay said I didn't have this in high school and I found out about the PA profession about a year before I applied so I mean I, I love it that they're getting the exposure even mm -hmm. though they might not choose it if they talk to someone who seems to be interested in the medical field it's something they can bring to their attention and yeah, absolutely. give it more exposure. Yeah. And how do you think um, your educational path would have changed if you were exposed to an event like this during your high school, you know, early years? Um, well, I, I would have been a practitioner already, I, probably, <laughs> I imagine. I mean, I'm, I'm 26 now, and I, I don't mind the way that I got here, but I think that it, it would have been nice to have more direction, especially at the start of um, my undergraduate degree because I changed my major twice and then three weeks before I graduated college I changed my entire career path so I still had to go back and take extra prerequisites so this was really um, if I had known I don't know that I would have 
been as driven as these kids are, yeah. so I'm definitely impressed with them. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it might have helped me. I think it definitely was a good thing because if we have something like this going on continuously, then more kids are exposed to it, Do you more need driven. Help? And like myself, yeah, I didn't have that, but if, I think if I did, I would have been able to have a much more straighter path during undergrad. Mm -hmm. been able to see what I wanted to do, how to Absolutely. do it much earlier on. Yeah. Same. Um, like Leanne, I'm 27, so I'm a little older. But I definitely probably would have ended up pursuing this a lot sooner. I would have uh, shadowed PAs sooner mm -hmm. instead of just doctors. Yeah. I would have gotten a job in the medical field, which I had mentioned earlier. It was helpful, but I didn't do it until I was graduated. So I would have loved it. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you're you. doing it. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. And last but not least, if we had an event like this again, would you be interested in once again being career speakers and oh, yeah. helping guide these high schoolers through their through their path to becoming a PA? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was fun. Thank you so awesome. much. And that's all we have for today. <laughs>